Okay, welcome to the end of day four here in Belgrade, Serbia. We have had a full day of quarterfinals. A pair of boats also had their reps figuring out some boats to pair. results for today and all the lines are people who qualified to the top end of the semis or finals or whatever they're trying to get to. So it makes it a lot more helpful for me reading this. So it's a very headwindy day today. Uh, lots of not really fun conditions to row in. Some people just dying in the last 200 meters because you put in a lot of effort trying to get your boat up to speed and dealing with the wakes. So starting off the day, we have the PR1 women's singles. So France, China, Ukraine, and Germany have booked their ticket to Paris by getting into the A final. And then we followed by four reps in the men's Paris single from Uzbekistan, Mexico, Germany, Spain, France, Brazil, Israel, and Poland all going to the AP semis. The next round of pair of boats getting their ticket to Paris. We had the PR2 mixed doubles, Poland, Netherlands, China, and Ukraine. They've all booked their spots because it is top six to go to Paris there. So A final, books your ticket. In the PR3 mixed double, we had US, GB, Brazil, and Germany book their spots to the A final, but you have to get into the top five, which is why nobody was celebrating after getting to the A final because you just still have to not get last place in the A final. Oh, here goes the women's eight. So we finished off the reps with the women's doubles and it's Australia, Norway, Netherlands, and South Africa booking their spots into the AB semis. They'll be within a shout for qualifying for Paris, which is always huge. Then the rest of them are all quarterfinals and there are four quarterfinals, quarter, makes sense. So for the men's single, Greece, Serbia, Bulgaria, knocking out Canada, Monaco, and Spain into the CD semis. Germany, New Zealand, Japan, knocking out Belgium, Norway, and Uruguay. Then Netherlands, neutral athlete two, Croatia, knocking out unfortunately US, Australia, and Sweden. Finn put in a big shout, but some fast guys out there. And then Denmark, Lithuania, Italy, knocking out Brazil, Portugal, Hungary, Hungary, yeah. Hungary. Those will be, I think, Friday for those uh, semis. Tomorrow is going to be tough. It's going to be a lot of boats getting knocked out. Dreams to the Olympics. Then we followed up with the women's quarterfinals. In the singles, we had New Zealand, Lithuania, Germany, knocking out Uzbekistan, Ukraine, and Slovenia. Then quarterfinal two, we had Australia, Bulgaria, AIN one, knocking out AIN two, Romania, and Great Britain. In the quarterfinal three, US, Serbia, Spain, knocking out Norway, France, and Japan. And in the fourth one, we had Netherlands, Austria, Austria, and Switzerland knocking out China, Czech, and Italian. That will line us up for some incredible racing in the women's singles. I know Kara had a pretty solid race. Then we came to the men's light singles quarters. Algeria, Japan, and Iraq knocking out Slovenia, Finland, and Azerbaijan. Switzerland, Austria, and South Africa knocking out Mexico, the neutral athlete in Norway. Then Poland, Hungary, and Spain knocking out Denmark, Germany, and New Zealand. And Italy, France, and the US. Gone Sam, knocking out Belgium, Ireland, and who's Geo? Georgia. And then another round of Olympic boat classes, men's light double. Ireland, Imperius as always, Italy and Belgium, knocking out Australia, Portugal, and Egypt. Then Spain, Czech, and Chinese, knocking out Greece, France, and Ukraine. So France knocked out, that's crazy. Norway, Germany, New Zealand, knocking out Uruguay, Turkey, and Austria. And Switzerland, uh, Poland, Mexico, knocking out US, Estonia and Uzbekistan. So very, very tough racing conditions today. Tough day for the US scholars. Then we come to the men's pair quarterfinals. Switzerland, Ireland, and Italy, knocking out China, Serbia, and Slovenia. Spain, US, and New Zealand, knocking out France, Canada, and Poland. Great Britain, South Africa, and Australia, knocking out neutral athletes, Hungary, and Netherlands. And then Romania, Denmark, Croatia, knocking out Lithuania, Germany, the Czech. US boat was going fast. Way to go, Evan and Bill. That was fun to watch. And then there's a couple boats, like Lithuania had a great lead on Croatians and then just absolutely died in the, like, the last 150 meters. So saw a little bit of that today. Spain's single was knocked out. And in the final quarterfinals of the day, we had the men's doubles, Romania, New Zealand, and Moldova. 
knocking out Poland, Lithuania, and Bulgaria. Netherlands, Ireland, Germany, knocking out Cuba, Greece, and South Africa. Croatia, Chinese, and French, knocking out the Swedish, Australians, and Serbians. And then Spain, Italy, and Norway, knocking out the US, Czech, and Belgium. That is a tough race. So we saw a couple boats getting knocked out that nobody really expected to be getting knocked out. Lots of boats dying in the last like 150 meters. Lots of people not really able to deal with the conditions. Pretty disappointing day. You had a lot of really unhappy faces crying at the dock where they were getting their waters because it was hot out and windy and just a really tough day of racing. So my heart goes out to everybody who was knocked out in the quarters and semis tomorrow because you know the Olympic dreams are going to be on hold but you know getting through FOQR is as everybody knows very very difficult. So, so yeah, after the press conference of John Christoph Roland talking about the state of rowing and you know the Olympic committee has still postponed their announcement of what they're going to do with rowing and the LA 2028 games. Are they adding coastal beach sprints? Are they taking away any more spots? Rowing's kind of hanging in the balance and not many people are talking about it because not many people know about it. I just found out today and that's crazy to me. I'm like a huge rowing nerd and I would like to know what the future of the sport's gonna be. So uh, here's to hoping that they don't make any decisions that kill off the sport. Like we've been seeing with lightweight rowing kind of happening. And then after the little press conference, we had the small, small, small finals and semifinals. So the it's no longer this semifinal GH for the men's singles. Uh, looks like Paraguay, Cote d'Ivoire, Georgia, Bermuda, El Salvador, and Libya for the GH semifinals. And for the EF semifinals, it was the neutral athlete one, Cyprus, Mexico, Azerbaijan, Turkey, and Israel. Women's semifinal EF, Poland, Peru, and Latvia, and then Turkey and Togo. And then we wrapped up the day with final E's. Tunisia, um, Palestine, and Egypt in the light singles. The men's pair was Turkey and Egypt. And then the men's double was Great Britain, Egypt, Ukraine, Uruguay, Peru, and Brunei. We're officially halfway through the week of racing, or eight days of racing. Tomorrow is gonna be intense. We will have a lot of Paris decisions made with results. Here's hoping that, you know, we have some great racing, fair racing. Apparently conditions are not supposed to be super uh, favorable, so they've moved racing to earlier and it's gonna be all over the place. Anyways, that's your update from Sava Lake in Belgrade. Some long days here, hot days. It's always fun to see this sport at the top of its game. Hopefully you've enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.